Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, we look yourselves down, slay service, passes, vassals, meat sacks. I'm useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, let's go back to Iraq. And um, this is an interesting story because uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the war there directly. It's about the dam in Mosul. And I've seen a couple stories on this now. It really isn't uh, making headlines, but uh, it seems pretty, pretty interesting development. It could have a huge impact. And um, so let's look at a little, a little closer at this story. It's about the dam in Mosul. And the Iraqi engineers who actually built the dam are warning that the structure is, quote, increasingly precarious, unquote, and could fail at any time. And uh, when I read the first story, uh, it, was, it was an interesting blip. But uh, once I read the second story, uh, it, it gets uh, a little more interesting. The largest dam in Iraq provides electricity for 1.7 million residents in Mosul. And uh, leaks began to appear right after it was built in 1986. And they have 24 machines that continuously pump grout into the base. And uh, this is, the, uh, this is the, the crucial point here because uh, it turns out that there isn't anybody uh, using those 24 machines to continuously pump grout into the base anymore. And, uh, and in fact, uh, since ISIS took control of the region, uh, those engineers now uh, uh, warn that there's a critical situation as most of the injection machinery has been stopped and the maintenance crews dissolved. In fact, some of the machines have even been looted and there's no cement available uh, to pump into this base. And uh, in fact, uh, let's see, nine years ago, in September of 2006, there was a U.S. report that said, quote, in terms of internal erosion, potential of the foundation, Mosul Dam is the most dangerous dam in the world, unquote. And, um, of course, I have to factor in the, the fact that it's been nine years since that U.S. report from the uh, uh, Corps of Army Engineers that talked about um, the possibility this uh, uh, dam could fail, and it's been uh, sustained for at least another nine years. But I guess things are a little different now, uh, and, and uh, now these same engineers are warning that in April and May, when the, the snow melt uh, pressure comes in, uh, this could be a, a turning point. And uh, water, uh, they say that water would arrive in Mosul within four hours and Baghdad within 45 hours, and that uh, uh, millions of people could be affected. The, the calculations that there actually could be 500,000 to a million uh, casualties, uh, which sounds pretty dramatic. But uh, anyway, uh, so here's this story. And uh, to give it a little more credence, uh, the U.S. Embassy has warned any U.S. citizens still in Mosul to leave the city. So that gives a little more credence because we know uh, uh, the, the foreign nationals will get everybody else out and the people that live there will uh, be there to uh, suffer the consequences. And another thing about the story, of course, that makes it uh, more credible is the fact that we know uh, governments look at their uh, uh, citizens as, as expendable. And I'm sure that's uh, even more true in that part of the world. Uh, we have the, the Flint, Michigan, in the United States, their water is, is, is full of lead and the government uh, uh, does a cover-up. Uh, we have Fukushima in Japan and, and all these uh, tens of thousands of people, if not millions of people are affected, and the government does a cover-up. And, uh, and the people are expendable. And in this situation, uh, we have the same. Uh, these same engineers uh, claim that there's no backup plan, there's no evacuation plan, and that the officials seem completely disinterested. Uh, apparently, the Baghdad government has contact an Italian company to perhaps help with this situation but uh, for the meantime it looks like this uh, dam is degrading and um, the only reason I bring it up is because it seems credible enough that um, should this dam break um, it's obviously going to have a huge effect on the, the, uh, the geopolitical events in that region uh, aside from the war and it would also obviously have a huge effect on the war as well and uh, and then of course the bottom line is uh, it would be such a, an amazing tragedy for this to happen in an area of the world where you think people have suffered enough already I'm a useful idiot don't you be one too